to the Castanet blog. Uh, I've got Chris Deason here today with me and we're going to talk about location-based marketing through social media and we thought of no better place to do that than at Scotty's Brew House on 96th Street back in the conference room. That's what you're seeing in the background here. So, uh, Chris, talk to us about uh, location-based marketing. Sure. Well, okay, uh, for those who don't know location-based marketing, I mean, you may have heard of Foursquare and use Facebook, Facebook Places. It's basically a way for people to check in and say, you know, hey, I'm at an establishment, you know, hey, I like this place. Um, just for people to know, hey, I'm at a cool location, I'm at, you know, the Golden Gate Bridge, take a picture, here's who I am. So it's just a way for people to share what they're doing with your life. Um, a lot of businesses, though, have been using it. Uh, Scotty's is a perfect example. Welcome to Scotty's. Um, you know, if you check in and you say, um, you know, hey, I'm at Scotty's Brew House, you'll get a message back saying, hey, what's, how's your food? Is there anything we can do to make it better? You know, just how can we help? And Scott's done a great job of incenting people to do that by giving them 10% off Monday through Thursday off their ticket. And I'm actually the mayor of the 96th Street location, so I get 10% off my bill anytime I come here. So everybody loves it when I pick up the check. Right, and, and, and Chris was a rock star. He walked in, everybody knew his name. I mean, when he checks in, it's not just the online people, too. They take it offline with Scotty's. They do a good job of knowing and interacting offline, too. So there's there's some offline aspects to that, for sure. Yeah, exactly. I think locations like where people socialize and congregate like restaurants and bars and things like that are great, but banks and regular brick and mortar places can really take advantage of getting their culture to promote themselves. If one average person that visits your business has 200 fans on Facebook, that means six people coming through your business every day promoting your, promoting your business and their stop in there is getting your message out to over 600 people. Yeah, and you know, and, and incentivizing people to share is a big part too. It's not just checking in and saying in there. Um, you know, and a lot of people are doing that already. Uh, Scotty's is a great example. They incentivize people to share their check-ins. So they did a, a little contest on Twitter to where if you um, used a Twitter hashtag as a way to like kind of um, categorize your tweets with a search. So you put a little hashtag and put I love SBH. And when you tweet that message, it enters you into a monthly contest. And uh, Bruce McLean, who does their digital media here at Scotty, said their um, their shares of four square check-ins went from 10% to 33%. And I think, I want to say it was within a month or something, the yeah. first month they did the contest. So they had already had a lot of people using Foursquare, but when they did the incentive to, to run the contest, so for like a $25 gift card, they got an extra 23% of people sharing their check-in and telling all their friends, like you said, really expanding the reach of Scotty's online yeah. quite, quite cheaply. For $25, you'd take that for sure. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, location-based marketing isn't just for the kids anymore. It's for every business out there that wants to increase traffic and increase uh, their profit margin by raising their revenue. Would you agree? I agree completely. Awesome. There's, there's lots of great use cases for it and I, you know, I encourage you to just think differently. It doesn't have to just be restaurants like Chris said. Awesome. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Cast a, Net, Cast a Bigger Net video blog and we'll be back soon.